what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Are y'all ready to wave the white flag yet? Man, these stories are getting more and more outrageous every day. I won't even call this outrageous. I would just say that this is, this is disturbing. We have two girls that are 10 and 11 years old in Manassas, Virginia, who were accused of conspiring to kill a fellow student. The two girls communicated with each other through cryptic messages, and they encouraged one another to get this, y'all, to delete threat-related messages. <laughs> now, their names were not released because they're juveniles, and neither was their school. I find that disturbing, though, because the community need to know who they are. These two are very dangerous. Who in the hell conspires to commit murder at the age of 10 and 11 years old? I mean, think about what were you doing at 10 and 11 years old? What were you thinking about at 10 and 11? Like finishing your homework so you can go outside and play? If you're a female, you know, maybe playing with a doll or your doll house or cheering or whatever it is that you do. Who's thinking about murdering somebody? Now, in all honesty, I ain't gonna lie, I did think about murder when I was young. And I was six. I wanted to knock off my stepdaddy bad. My sisters and brothers chickened out. I ain't lying, I would've got him. True story. But going forward, um, just on some normal stuff. Now this dude was was a beast. You know, he was an abuser. But we're talking about two young girls in elementary, elementary aged girls conspiring to kill another student. Man, these girls are going to need a whole lot of help. And they were only charged with, um, what was it, uh, criminal, uh, the intent to commit uh, a felony. What about being charged with uh, attempted homicide? That's basically what it is. Some tells me that, that they're going to try to sweep this under the rug. They're not going to stick it to them. They're going to try to play it off like some type of little childhood prank, like it wasn't real. And they're going to try to protect them and make it smooth out so that they don't destroy their lives. Because after all, they have their whole lives ahead of them. At least, I will say this, that the school took it seriously. At least the parent, but first of all, thank God for the parent who came forward and spoke on it. That was a parent, not the parent of the kids, but I guess some, some one parent uh, came forward and revealed this news to the staff and the staff contacted the police department and the police stepped in. So shout out to the parent that came forward, the staff and even law enforcement for taking care of their business and treating this as a serious threat. The only thing that I don't understand is why were they not charged for conspiracy to commit murder. That that part, I don't get. I know I said attempted murder at first, but conspiracy to commit murder would be the proper charge. Why wasn't they charged with that? That I don't understand. And another thing before I close this out, this 
is a question for law enforcement. Where do you think they got the idea that murdering someone is a good idea from? No more talk. What the talking about?